Finally, face-off battle. It's going to be Connor McCuster going up against Ashton Wood. And let's kick the tires and light this fire, baby. The 2023 season is underway. Bucknell in the white jerseys. Mercer in the eye-popping, pristine road orange unis. And the ball squirts around. It's eventually picked up by the Bison. And here we go. Bucknell working it. They've always been a very good home team. Like I said, it is cold here. It's 13 degrees, feels like six. Here's Davis at the top. Slings it. Goal! Connor Davis picking right where he left off. Less than a minute into the season, he draws first blood for his team. 17, he's a good facilitator as a sophomore. He's a lefty. Over to Davis at the top. He's going to sling it in again. Connor Davis making the difficult look easy. A power play goal for Bucknell. And they lead 2-0. Davis had one of his nine hat tricks last year against Mercer. In fact, he made his collegiate debut. He scored six goals against Mercer. He's got two within three-plus minutes. And he's got some swagger. He's a furlong behind the cage. And it's a goal for Bucknell again. What a blistering start for the Bucknell Bison. 3-0 they lead, four minutes and four seconds in. Take another look at this one. Is that Michael Meyer? Yeah. As a high school senior, 52 goals, 56 assists. Faceoff one by Ashton. And he scores off the faceoff. Ashton Wood. Bounces it in. He wins the faceoff, and within six seconds, he barrels his way into the offensive end and bangs it past Jazz and Ellie. So Mercer's on the board 3-1. Well, that's how you take matters into your own hands. You're like, look, I'm going to win this faceoff. I'm going to go right down Broadway. And it's a really young Bucknell team. They slice it over to Doolin left side at the top to Will Hopkins. Hopkins is small, 5'6", 150-pounder. Feed deep inside. Oh, on the doorstep and a goal for Furlong off the feed from Hopkins. 4-1 Bucknell in the first. That's a great feed right in the shooter's pocket from Hopkins on the doorstep for Furlong, who just had to slightly bend his wrist to make that shot. Four goals by three different players. That's kind of the Bucknell way. It's a, it's a slew of stars. Uh, Ashton Wood, excuse me, got injured. As C.J. Baroni's going to barrel his way inside, tough angle. He's got to flick it back out behind the cage to Furlong. Furlong bounces it in. Back-to-back -back goals for Dutch. And he was outside the crease, says the official. No, they're going to wave it off. No, it was a goal. It was a goal after all. So after further review, it was a goal for Dutch Furlong. I thought he might have been in the crease. But, uh... It is a goal. We'll keep it right here during this uh, trip years. It has a huge year for Frank Federock. And that's, and that's how you have success in the Patriot League. Furlong wrap around. It's a goal. Are they going to wave this off or not? And they will. So a violation on Bucknell right at the doorstep. No goal. It's a 30-second penalty on number 99. So Bucknell already has one power play goal. Man up. Let's see how they do this time. Shot bounced in. Connor Davis give him a first quarter hat trick. That is his 10th career hat trick for the stud sophomore. Here's how cold it is. You can see Jack Billetier, number 14. He's wearing sweatpants. <laughs> I mean, you don't see lacrosse used his first three years, but this is his time to shine. So Bucknell should have the advantage here, and they do win it. So Bucknell wins the faceoff as we start the second quarter, and they quickly strike for a goal. Ten seconds in. 7-1 Bucknell leads. Impressive. Let's take another look. Richie Striano, Parker Janad. He couldn't handle it, and like a vacuum, it's scooped up by Bucknell. 
Here come, here come the herd. They're on the run here. Ethan Gyllenhaal with a strike and a goal. Great counterattack for Bucknell. Ethan Gyllenhaal set that up for the Bucknell Bison. Parker Janad couldn't quite handle it, and Ethan Gyllenhaal knocks it through. Great goal, so more great ball movement. It's always been a huge principle of this program. If you're going to be a Bucknell player, you got to share the ball. And Michael Meyer whips it in. A hat trick in the first half for the freshman. One of the all-time greats coming out of Suffolk County. Well, he's brought his swagger to Lewisburg. Michael Meyer, six foot three. He just he just slung that in. I mean, that is working and operating in tight space. Got the defender to bite. Saw a sliver from the keeper and Jazzinelli. He started three freshmen, including Michael Meyer, who's got a hat trick. It's 9-1 Bucknell, and they win yet another faceoff. Dutch Furlong touch shot. It's a goal. Three hat tricks by three different players in the first half. It's 10-1 Bucknell over Mercer. And Mercer, without Ashton Wood, they just seem discombobulated on offense. Ashton Wood makes this team go, and he was sidelined with a left ankle injury midway through that. But ironically, Ryan Danahy kind of helped rebuild this program with a stud recruiting class last year led by Cam Doolin and Connor Davis. And then more of the recruits this year. Michael Meyer, Patrick Riley picked off. Connor Davis at the doorstep, slings it in. Four goals for Davis. Defense to offense, the Bison way. It's 11-1 Bucknell midway through the first half. And Davis is a good player, man. I mean, this guy is a sophomore. He is He's not afraid to joust with the best of them. He's got 10 career hat tricks in 15 games. This is his 15th career game. He's got before the half ends. Janad, near side. To the top to Klepper. And Taylor Dooley strikes and scores. Man up goal for Mercer. That's how you tally some momentum if you're the Bears. First goal of the second quarter. Comes with 146 remaining in this period. And it's 11-2. So Taylor Dooley had 19 goals last year, or 18 goals last year. That's a goal. Wow. Cam Doolin scores. It's a really tough angle. Couldn't quite tell from my vantage point if, if he was able to break the plane or not, but he was able to squeak it past Colin Kelly. He was kind of coming in from the side, and you see him just kind of throw it up and send a prayer, and it was answered. Down here. Deep inside, Michael Meyer, fourth goal of the first half for Suffolk County's finest. It's a baker's dozen for the Bison. Really good job of, of turf spacing right there from Bucknell. Everybody in proper position. Mercer was inside. And turn the corner against these long poles of Bucknell. Bucknell's got great size in their defense. All three starters we talked about, they're six foot four. Gyllenhaal, good angle. And it's a goal for Mercer. That's how you get it started here in the second half. The Polar Bears are on the board. Jack Sullivan, very skilled freshman, gets the tally. So that's three goals by three different players for Mercer. Ryan Danahy likes the balance with his team. That's a good catch by Ben Lieber. But the academic success at Bucknell is so strong, has such a great gravitational pull. You know, you can lure anybody here to this great campus. And Lewisburg has grown just so much as a town within the last 10 years. Parker Janad with a goal. And here come the Polar Bears. Back-to-back -back goals for Mercer. Danahy with some adjustments here. And it seems like Mercer's just kind of slowed things down a little bit. Take a deep breath. Remember the fundamentals. 
You know, you're seeing good pitching and catching. Power, precision. Michael Meyer has four goals on five shots, making five goals on six shots for Mikey Meyer. The efficiency from the freshman, the pride of Suffolk County. I just love the accuracy of Michael Meyer. He knows exactly. That is going to be a huge, huge litmus test to start the league slate for Bucknell. A home game against a team that's just littered with stars. Fita with a goal! Triggers, fires, and scores. Jack Fita. He's another glue guy to this team. When Jack Fita goes, so does this squad. It up. And then Bucknell's got Loyola. I mean, Loyola's been a, a powerhouse in the Patty League for quite some time. That's a strike and a goal for Mercer. Connor Purcell. That's a defensive player with a goal with a long pole. So six foot three, fifth year, using his COVID year to his advantage, and Purcell gets the goal. Always a juggernaut. And Loyola ended Bucknell season last year in the Patty League Tournament. Touch shot. It's a goal. Dutch Furlong off the sling from Will Hopkins. Beautiful touch shot and a great pass. And they lift up Will Hopkins. Hopkins is like 5'6", 150 pounds. You can see how small he is juxtaposed to the trees. But he is Detroit Mercy at Jacksonville. They're the A-Sun favorites, the Dolphins. I mean, you're going to be black and blue for quite some time. And another goal for Bucknell. Oh, they're making it look too easy as they start the fourth quarter. 17 Frank Federaca. His team's on a mission this season. And that's a goal. Bucknell, another one. 18 goals in this game for Bucknell. Will Hopkins with the goal. First career goal for Will Hopkins. A goal in this half. Now coming in, it's Connor Penabianco. And a goal for Mercer. We've got a new goalie in for Bucknell. It's Max Nolan. So they've taken out Jazz Zanelli. Zanelli finished with uh, nine saves. So Penabianco gets the goal. The Jazz was awesome. Baroni fires. Goal, C.J. Baroni. Another Bison with a tally. That's a lot of them. 19-6, Bucknell leads Mercer. So I think the future is really bright for Mercer and for Bucknell, you know, getting back to those freshmen. Michael Meyer, six goals on eight shots. What a debut. Then you've got Will Hopkins. He's got a goal and three assists. Ben T, Frank Federaca versus Ryan Danahy. Danahy was Frank's right-hand man for four years. I mean, you know, they got through a global pandemic together. Wraparound shot. It's a goal for Bucknell, their 20th of the game. And that was Brian Miller, number 20, with the goal. Number 20 with number 20. That's the cherry on top. Ninth different Bison to score in this game. Brian Miller gets the tally. Frank Federaca, big hug for Brian Miller. Look at Miller. That's a tough angle right there. If it's all cosmetic from this point, it's the mentor versus mentee matchup, and it's going to go the mentor's way. Bucknell. With a scintillating performance on opening day of the 2023 lacrosse season, they went 20 to six, nine different players with a goal, three different players with a hat trick, and the freshman flexed here on February 4th. A frigid day in Lewisburg where it was 13 degrees throughout the game. It felt like six on the field, if you include the wind chill here in central Pennsylvania.